Hey guys, you probably watching me for the first time speaking English because I do all my videos with my native Arabic. The reason why I'm doing this is trying to reach wider audience. Anyway, it's not the point. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why the iPad 9 is a great catch. First, let's talk about design and screen. And this will not take a lot of time because the iPad 9 is just the same as the last generation in terms of design or the screen. And also the touch ID is the same here. And I know this touch ID is taken a lot from the front of the iPad, but to be honest, it's more convenient than the touch ID on the iPad mini 6. And before talking about the camera, I want to address two points that make this iPad, the iPad 9, way better than the last generation, the iPad 8. The first thing is the A13 chip which is still got it in terms of gaming and overall performance. And the second thing is that the iPad 9 starts with 64 gigabytes as an internal memory, which is really important upgrade from the 32 gigabyte that we saw on the iPad 8. Now talking about the front facing camera, the iPad 9 comes with a 12 megapixel sensor and with center stage, you can really make use of this feature during video calls like FaceTime. The rear camera is still the same 8 megapixel that we saw last year. The speakers on this iPad is not that great, but you still have the audio jack. The battery of the iPad 9 can give you about 10 hours of web browsing and watching videos. Well, probably you will get less than 10 hours if gaming a lot, especially playing FPS games. But still, the 8557 mAh is more than enough for daily usage. And also this iPad charger through lightning port with a 20 watt charger that came with the box. I was hoping for more than 20 watts because the capacity of this iPad is too big. And to fully charge this iPad, you're gonna need around 2 hours and 30 minutes. What makes this iPad great is that it came with a great mix of hardware combined with the stable iPad OS. Now this mix can be more appealing when you have the price of $329. And for comparison, these days you can't even find the decent smartphone with this price. So I think the iPad 9 may be not a king like the iPad Pro, but still the iPad 9 with the cheap price tag is the best catch you can get from Apple. Hit the like button if you liked this video and excuse my poor English. Like I said, it's my first video speaking English. And I might keep this coming from time to time. So consider subscribing to the channel and Assalamu alaikum.